another EMP mine anyway. That was another way to sneak in. I feel so silly now. All this time I thought it was another way to go with that. Okay, time to head for that elevator. Elevator filled with crates. An elevator I can love. Going up a long way. Vending machines. I simply must loot every corpse. Though I'm getting the message that these guys don't have anything left. Dude, I'm right here. How do I get in there? Maybe there 
was a way in there, there would be a vent that led, led in there. There we go. I know it is! Let's go talk to the guy. But I knew they were. They're everywhere! Dude, how you doing? Dude. Okay, okay, I hear. Look, we're gonna go around. We're gonna go around. <laughs> it's a get up! Yeah, he's crazy. Oh. This is interesting. Well, if I had a plasma rifle, it'd be nice to pick up those things. Underscore their wind entered channel. Is anyone alive in here? Hello. I'm on Panchi and Do Sex. How you doing? Oh, nice. Fine. You guys, you know, you guys weren't kidding about the zombie level. I thought you were kidding. But no, literal zombies. <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't matter that they're mechanical AUG zombies, it's still zombies. You know what I mean? It's still zombies. Um. How far along in the level are you? Not very far. Um, it should be noted, I think I most of the zombies you see won't actually attack you. They'll run up to you and, like, wave their arms around screaming. Well, it hurts a little. Oh, dude, right have you... Have you been attacked... Yeah, I found Have you been attacked by them? Who was in? He was all alone in the room, and I found the vent into the room, and he was just uh -huh. kept facing the wall. But I eventually got in front of him, and he started slapping me. It did like maybe ten damage before I knocked him down. Oh. Yeah, I just took that guy down. But when I got to a choke point with a bunch of them, I just did a quick save and experimented. And they didn't even hit me, they ran up to me screaming and, and flailing their arms and saying, make the, make the bad things go away. Awesome, I'm gonna try it. Oh, I got tons of non-lethal ammo because honestly these guys don't deserve to die, they're cool guys. Yeah. They're like little station workers, not mercs. And they'll go back to normal as soon as you turn off the broadcast. Of course. Got it. You know, I guess I, this, I guess I. A lot of this game is about stopping Access signals. Granted. Well, yeah. Because, like the the whole point of the game, as you discovered, is signals being able to control Ogs remotely. The whole point. Okay, not not the whole point, but that's like. That was the major Illuminati plot that you were trying to stop. But you just didn't know about it until like the... I know about it for certain. Until like the last ten minutes. <laughs> oh, if I turn the turrets and robots to enemies, will they shoot the poor Og guys? I can't tell. Um, yeah. If you turn robots to enemies, they'll, they should shoot everybody else. Well, I, I turned a turret on, but there's no AUG guys around here anyway, so... Everyone's dead. I'm trying to loot every corpse, but honestly, they've all been empty so far, so... I mean, on this floor. After the elevator. 
You can't sell anything anyway. No, I'm alright. But like, not even the mercs have ammo on them. This part feels very Bioshocky as well. Actually, now that you say that, I completely agree. Okay, which way? I just... It didn't remind me of any zombie games, but that does... It definitely reminds me of Bioshock. Well, the good thing is it isn't play like a zombie game, but it is still a literal zombie level. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Oh, hey, Daryl. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Daryl? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. What? Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future. But instead, I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it. And you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? killing his own monster. Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancea's security system has been programmed to protect it and we'll kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. doing is horrific. It has to stop. You can't force people to change. They have to do it on their own or they'll end up resenting you for it. And doing it like this? My god, Darrow, it's insane. It is not insane, Mr. Jensen. Tragic? Yes. Unavoidable? No. You, of all people, should be able to understand this. In your former career, were you not sometimes called upon to kill in the line of duty? To carry that grim responsibility in order to save others? You must realize this is no different. Only the scale has changed. Because the threat we face as a species is so extreme. You've convinced yourself you're right. But whatever moral high ground you're standing on is nothing but a stack of innocent victims. You're trying to justify genocide. All your talk about ethics and ideals doesn't mean a damn compared to that. Genocide? I'm trying to save our species and you... You keep twisting my 